Now let us see a few questions and answers in data communication in computer network. The first is which error detection method consists of a parity bit of each data unit as well as an entire data unit of parity bits. The answer here is LRC B because LRC error detection method consists of parity bit for each data unit and as well as an entire data unit of parity bits. The second question is uh, which of the following encoding method does not provide for synchronization. The answer is the first one NRZL does not provide for this. Then we have Sharon's noisy channel capacity theorem states that C is equal to H log base to 1 plus S by N bit per second. In this question, what is this H? What is this H stand for? Okay, so the, this uh, H stands for where C is uh, the bandwidth of the signal, H is the bandwidth of the signal, C is the bandwidth of the channel, H is the bandwidth of the signal, S by N is in decibels. So the answer is H is the bandwidth of the channel. H is the bandwidth of the channel. This one. Right. Now the next question is when signals are used to transmit digital data. Signals are used to transmit digital data. Channel of infinite bandwidth must be used for 100% accurate reception of data. Whether this is correct. Uh, well this uh, doesn't seem to be very precise. A channel of infinite bandwidth must be used for 100% accurate reception of data. A modulation technique must always be used. This is also not necessary. The data rate is only limited by the bandwidth of the channel used. This is correct. C is the correct one or the third one is correct. Data must be decoded on the signal and the transmitter. Not very precise. The noise level of the channel can increase the bandwidth. This is also not correct. So the answer would be this one. The data rate is only limited by the bandwidth of the channel used. Then we come to the next question. In go back an ARQ, ARQ, if frames 4, 5, 6 are received successfully, what is the ACK or acknowledge number receiver may send to the sender? Which one it will send? So in go back an ARQ, if the frames these are received successfully, then the number, the ACK number receiver may send to the sender is 7 is 7 because 4, 5, 6 received the next one will be sent as ACK. Seventh, transmitted signals across band limited channels are distorted due to external in interference, attenuation of some of the frequency components. First is uh, this one, actually this is first one, external interference. Second is the attenuation of some of the frequency components. Is it uh, correct? Well, this seems to be correct because the transmitted signal across band limited channels are distorted due to the attenuation of the sum of the frequency uh, components. Delay in some frequency components, reductions in the amplitude of the transmitted frequency components, amplification of the unwanted frequency components. In this, the answer is the attenuation of some of the frequency components. Eighth, the following statements can be made in general on data communication link. First is, uh, digital data cannot be transmitted along, along transmission links. A modem, a modem is an essential component of a serial data link. Full duplex communication is not done as serial transmission. Parallel links are used in interconnecting substance of, subsystems of a computer system. So which of the following statements are correct and which are incorrect? So the eighth is, you know, this is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D, and this one is E. From this point to this point, this is E. Okay. So first we see which one is correct and which one is incorrect. Digital data cannot be transmitted along analog transmission links. Not possible. Not correct. You know, we have a broadband facility, we have an analog system, and we are transferring the digital data. Second, the modem is an essential component of serial data link. No. And uh, full duplex system is not done on serial, serial transmission. This is also not correct. Parallel links are used in interconnecting subsystem of a computer system. Which of the following statements are correct? So, the fourth is parallel links are used in internet interconnecting subsystem of a computer system. This is correct. So, our answer would be this one. E, last one. 
one, two, and three they are correct. Fourth, eh, sorry, they are incorrect. Fourth is correct. Ninth one. In a bit-oriented synchronous transmission scheme, the bit pattern is this. Okay. This has to be transmitted as a frame content. If the opening and closing flags have the form 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, which of the following buttons enable data transparency. And if you are aware of the synchronous transmission, bit oriented, and the data transparency, you will be able to answer this. The answer is this one, second one. See, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, all will start. This one will be there. And then this formation in the form where we want the uh, data transparency. This pattern will enable the data transparency. So the answer will be second one B. How many bits are allocated for the host part in a class A type of an IP address? How many? What can be the answer? The answer is 24 bit. These 24 bits actually they are allocated for the host part in class A type of an IP address. 11th. The next one. Which of the following indicate an error if an odd parity approach is used? Odd parity. Can you can you just compute the number of ones? This is the only uh, you know approach you have to adopt. So which of the following indicate an error if an odd parity is there? Eleven. The answer is C. C. You compute one one one. There are four ones and they have asked for odd parity. So the error would be here. Twelfth. There are five types of cabling which are commonly used in Ethernet for the 10 base 5 and 10 base 2 cable standards, the maximum segment size and the maximum number of nodes per segment respectively are for this 10 base 5 and 10 base 2, 12. Any answer? A, B, C, D, E. The answer is in this case D, C. 10 base 5, this means 500 meter, 100. Okay. And uh, 10 base 2, 200 meter, 30. This is the correct answer. 30. The acronym ADSL stands for ADSL. ADSL is for asymmetric digital subscriber line. Asymmetric, the answer is this one. Asymmetric digital subscriber line. 40. 40 stations are on an Ethernet LAN. A 10 port bridge segments the LAN. What is the effective average data rate of each station? 10 port. There are 40 stations and on Ethernet and then we have a 10 port bridge segment. So the answer would be this uh, 14 will be 2.5 Mbps. So 40 stations are on Ethernet, 10 port bridge segments the LAN. So the effective uh, this one data rate would be 2.5 Mbps. So a packet switching, a packet traveling from one token ring network to another token ring network uses which of the following services of a device. Each network is an independent network. And uh, the answer of 19 would be D, transparent. A packet traveling from one token ring network to another token ring network uses a ser services of a transparent bridge. Next one. What type of addressing does the transport layer specifically use? What type of addressing? 20. The answer would be A, B, C, uh, D, E. The answer is C. Why C? Because the application program port addresses this C1. This is the type of addressing which is specifically used by the transport layer. Application program port addresses. Next one is HTTP Hypertext Transfer Protocol has similarities to both of the following protocols. HTTP matches with which two protocols? 21. The answer is FTP and SMTP. Because HTTP functions like combination of FTP and SMTP only. Because it is similar to FTP because it transfers file and uses the services of TCP on the background. However, it is much simpler than FTP because it uses only one TCP connection. HTTP is like this SMTP also because the data transfer between the client and the server look like SMTP messages. 22nd. What is the bit combination used by SAPI field of the ISDN's data network layer? 
to control call for end-to-end -end signaling in LAPD addressing format? The answer, or 22, is here D, this one, 000001. This bit combination is used by SAPI field of ISDN's data link network to control call for end-to-end -end signaling in LAPD addressing format. 23rd, which category of AAL125 of ATM, that is asynchronous transfer, uh, transfer mode, is intended to support connection-oriented data services, connection-oriented data services. The answer is C, AAL3. This AL3 of ATM is intended to support connection-oriented data services. 24. In the process of congestion control, the bits FECN and BECN, FECN and BECN of frame relay protocol are used to, can you guess the answer, 24? The answer is B, once receiver and center of congestion in the network respectively. 24th, in the process of uh, congestion control, the bits FECN and BECN of frame relay protocol are useful for warm receiver and sender Warm receiver and center of congestion in the network respectively. 25. MIME. MIME allows what type of data to be sent through SMTP? MIME. The answer is all of the above audio, non ASCII data, image, and video. 26. Which of the following application protocol is a framework for managing devices in an internet using TCP IP protocol suite? Which of the following application protocol? 26. The answer is B. Simple network management protocol. This is a framework for managing devices in an internet using the TCP IP protocol suite. 27. Which of the following component of SMTP can perform non SMTP mail to SMTP format and vice versa? 27. The answer is B. Mail gateway. Because mail gateway is the component of SMTP that can perform non SMTP mail to SMTP format and vice versa. 28. What name subject defines the type of data that can be stored in an object and enforced data for network transmission? The answer is B of uh, 28 because SMI is the name object defines the type of data that can be stored in an object and encodes data for, data net for network transmission. 29th. Flow control in data communications can be implemented using a CSMA CD protocol, makes a channel an error free one, 29, can be implemented using stop and wait protocol, can be implemented on a simplex link, none of the above. The answer is simply C, that is can be implemented using a stop and wait protocol. 30. Which of the following is not correct regarding the SMTP simple mail transfer protocol and POP3 post office protocol? Which of these is not correct? 30. The answer is this is C because POP3 uses a port 20. By default, to establish a connection is not correct regarding the simple uh, mail transfer protocol SMTP and POP3. So, first it was SMTP delivers an email by having the source machine. Then uh, establish a TCP, this is the second one, establish a TCP connection to port 25 to the destination. So this one is correct, but this is not correct. So this answer, the answer which is not correct is port, POP3 uses the port 20 by default to establish a connection. So these are a few questions on your data communication computer network. Thank you so much. Take care.